Hello, everyone, and a warm welcome to today's session on business downtime. So this webinar is going to be relevant to any business which uses computers because your computers are expensive and your humans are even more expensive. So it's important that your humans are using your computers rather than that they're unable to do so because they're down. So in this webinar, we're going to look at the causes of downtime, the effects of downtime, and then we'll run through some really effective strategies to stop it happening. My name's Tom. I'm very grateful for your time today. Thank you for joining the session. I hope it will prove useful if you're a business owner and you want that business to be as efficient and productive as possible. So we know that your time is important to you. So I'm going to try and be as practical as possible uh, rather than taking up your time with waffle. And I'm expecting to wrap up today's session in around 20 minutes. So let's go through the most common causes of downtime that might be afflicting your business. Hardware failures, we're talking here about malfunctions or failures of hardware components like maybe hard drives, power supplies or motherboards, that kind of thing can lead to system downtime. Then with software issues, if you've got bugs or other kinds of errors in software applications or your operating systems, then that might cause your computers to be unresponsive or crash, which is going to give you downtime. Security incidents, cybersecurity threats like malware, viruses, ransomware, can all compromise the integrity or availability of your computer systems. And that might mean you need downtime for remediation and recovery. And that downtime for remediation recovery can often be a long time. Then we've got human error. So mistakes made by your end users, maybe, or your admins, people in your IT team. So we're talking about things like uh, misconfiguration or configuration creep, improper software installations, can contribute to system downtime. Software updates and operating system patches are very important for security, but if they're delivered in a manual way, or if users are responsible for delivering their own updates in working hours, then they can spend a lot of time over the course of a year just watching updates deliver, which is gonna be really frustrating. And then you've got environmental factors. Sometimes a natural disaster occurs. Obviously, you can't really do much about that other than strong disaster planning. So those are the causes causes of downtime or the most common causes of downtime. So now let's just have a look at the effects of downtime. So productivity loss. For individuals, if you've got computer downtime, it can really disrupt your work and it will hinder your productivity and frustrate you. For businesses and organizations, that productivity loss also applies. In a business or organizational context, downtime can result in a substantial loss of productivity, which is going to impact your overall overall efficiency. <clears throat> Excuse me. So your workforce might be unable to complete tasks, meet deadlines, or provide services, and that's going to lead to financial losses. <clears throat> so financial implications for down, of downtime, they could easily include loss of revenue. So businesses that rely on computer systems for their operations might experience a direct loss of revenue during downtime. So for example, if you've got an e-commerce website, no one's going to be buying anything from that while it's offline. And then there's the operational costs. <clears throat> so the costs associated with resolving technical issues, recovering data, 
restoring your systems, those costs can be substantial, adding to the financial burden. So suppose you get a ransomware attack that could often take you a long time to recover from. Often it will take up months from an entire IT team. And even then that IT team might not be completely certain that they've completely disinfected everything. So it's not unrealistic to suggest that downtime could cost an absolute fortune. So a further effect of downtime is customer dissatisfaction. <clears throat> so in businesses that provide products or services online, then customers might experience disruption in accessing websites or in completing transactions. And that might lead to enough brand damage that they never return. So you've got the, the reputation damage side. So a company's reputation can be severely hard, harmed by prolonged downtime. So your customers or your prospective customers might perceive the business as unreliable, unprofessional, and that's potentially going to lead to a loss of trust. It can take a long time to earn a customer's deep trust, and that can all be thrown away in just a minute of downtime. Security concerns. So there's an increased vulnerability to security threats during downtime. So cyber attacks can take advantage of system weaknesses, and that might lead to data breaches, unauthorized access, or other security issues. Then operational delays. So if you are in an industry that relies heavily on real-time data processing, like manufacturing or logistics, you might face operational delays. So this is going to disrupt your supply chains and can lead to a cascading effect on other business processes. Last but not least, employee morale. So extended computer downtime can contribute to low employee morale. So your employees might get frustrated, stressed, and general sense of helplessness is going to impact the overall work environment. Downtime just makes people miserable, and that in turn causes further downtime. Fortunately, we have a solution to the problem of downtime, and the solution is called deep freeze. Deep freeze is a very simple concept. If you have deep freeze enabled on your workstations, then when you restart them, they will restart in their original configuration. So that's an extremely simple yet powerful tool. Whatever goes wrong with a workstation, you restart it. You, you can restart it from the device itself or from a cent centralized cloud console, which allows you to manage all your devices. So you can recover immediately from all the most common causes of downtime. Suppose you have an attack or something uh, something goes wrong with the computer from um, IT admin, human error, um, anything like that, you're just going to um, immediately return a device to its original state with a restart. So... Reboot to Restore has many other huge benefits for a typical business. So you're going to significantly reduce downtime, but you're also going to kill most of your helpless tickets because most helpless tickets are resolved with a restart. You don't require a high level of technical expertise to, to resolve most tickets. Anything that goes wrong with a computer, you just return it to its pristine original state with a restart. And you're going to maximize the return on your hardware investment. So hardware is expensive and you want it to last as long as possible. With Deep Freeze, you're optimizing the performance of that hardware because every time a workstation starts, it does so. Basically, you're starting a, a brand new device. Uh, you're not clogging up your hardware over time with all the clutter that accumulates. And it's an extremely powerful layer of security. So 
Ideally, you pile up several layers of security between you and the people who wish to attack you, to exploit you. Deep freeze is an extremely powerful layer of security underneath all your other layers, because if something penetrates your defenses, you know that whatever it is just disappears on a restart. It's a magical cleaning power. You have immediately recovered from anything bad, a virus, an attack, with just a restart. So so that means that your IT process is revolutionized. So we, we've got more than 30,000 customers around the world. And before taking on Fronix Cloud Deep Freeze, those IT managers would have been doing a lot of things manually, um, would have been using a heavy amount of resources to resolve quite trivial issues, which now are resolved by restarting their devices. Those devices would have been insecure. Process would have been inefficient and data would be leaky. Like you, you're not sure about data security. You're not sure what's going in and out. Deep Freeze solves those problems. So instead of downtime, you have uptime. Your IT processes become automated. Your devices are indestructible. You're an efficient and compliant organization and you your IT team gets back a huge amount of time that can be spent on more productive activities. So any IT manager is going to recognize this guy here. He's putting out this fire. As soon as he puts that one out, there's going to be another one around the block. He's going to have to try and put that one out and then another one and another one. IT, man IT managers should not be firefighting. You might feel like you're forever just moving from one disaster to the next and you're using your resources ineffectively. It really doesn't have to be like that at all. Deep freeze can get you out of a reactive mode and back onto the front foot so you can spend your time on strategy rather than on admin. So deep freeze is a very powerful tool in your fight against downtime. But there are many other tools in the toolkit within one product. Within Phronix Cloud Deep Freeze, you've got the Reboot to Restore part, but you've got many other tools that are going to make you more efficient and reduce downtime. One of the most powerful of those tools is the ability to automate software updates. Here are some examples of known software vulnerabilities that have been recently exploited by hackers. Happens all the time. Big and small companies finding software vulnerabilities every day and then patching them. But if your computers are updated manually, you're leaving it to your users to update, then often that means they just won't be updated at all. And then there's a much higher risk that something bad will happen. With Fornix Cloud Deep Freeze, you can completely automate the delivery of all of your software updates. All you have to do is select the applications you want to keep up to date, tick the boxes, and schedule a time to deliver those updates. Normally, you deliver that in the middle of the night. So that means no downtime for any of your colleagues while software updates deliver. So as well, in, as, well as cutting your risk of downtime caused by an attack, you're, you're going you're gonna to protect against known vulnerabilities. And the same applies to Windows updates. You can schedule everything to happen out of production hours. So you don't have any of that frustration of waiting around while your Windows update deliver before you can start work. Or if you prefer a more hands-on approach, uh, the Windows updates page here looking on screen uh, shows you everything you've got pending and you can approve patch by patch if you want, or you just have that install missing patches button in the top right. You can just click that and update your whole estate in one click. So, Software updates and Windows updates made much easier. 
much less or zero downtime. So looking at the four key components of endpoint management, Fronix Cloud can help in those four areas. So I've just mentioned there, we automate all your patch management. So you just don't need to worry about that anymore. On the help desk side, we make it easy to manage your tickets. We've got a fully functional ticketing module and you can remote connect directly into any of your devices from the cloud. And there's also a really powerful imaging module so you can save time um, imaging new or old hardware. On endpoint security, there's a really powerful package of measures to support you. So I mentioned deep freeze already, um, but there's three other tools in that basket. So we have anti-executable, so whitelisting tool. You can block unwanted executable files from reaching you. WinSelect uh, includes something called Kiosk mode, where you can lock down the, the function and the appearance of your desktop. And antivirus as well. Uh, so um, really powerful antivirus offered in partnership with Bitdefender. And then on inventory and analytics, there's a real, there's a comprehensive suite of reports and dashboards. So you always are able to find out whatever it is you need to know about your workstations, how they're performing, their usage levels, your compliance levels. So taken together, Fronix Cloud are gonna Fronix Cloud will cover your needs in all these areas. So the main benefits of Fronix Cloud, you're going to stop downtime. You're going to prevent attacks from reaching you in the first place. And if something makes it through your layers of security, you know you have deep freeze underneath very powerful layer of security, recover from an, any attack with a restart. And you can automate your patch management. So no longer do your users need to sit and watch Windows updates deliver before they can start work. And you're also, with automating your software updates and your Windows updates, you're reducing the risk of a hacker exploiting a known vulnerability because you are delivering those patches when they're ready rather than waiting around for months. Fronix Cloud will save you money. The amount of time taken to carry out basic admin tasks, which could be automated, is a big amount of time. And it's a scalable investment. So software as a service, you can contract what you need and easily add and remove license counts. And you're going to increase your security and your risk of ha being hacked is lower with Foronix Cloud. There's a free 30 day trial available. If you go to our website and once you sign up for the trial, you just need to install the cloud agent on the devices you're looking to manage and then they'll appear in the cloud console and you can manage them from the cloud. Support is friendly, it's personable, it's easy. You're definitely going to be communicating with friendly people rather than with robots. Help is always one click away. And migration's not a scary process at all. It's really very simple. So if you'd like a more detailed demo please scan that QR code uh, to book directly into my calendar. Very happy to find out about the specific needs of your organization, how we can help you overcome whatever problems you, you're faced with. Happy to tailor a short demonstration to the particular needs of your organization. But we're, we're really very confident that um, with Fronix Cloud, you can reduce downtime almost to zero, if not to zero. So very happy for you to uh, give it a try, and we will look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you very much for your time on today's session. Great to be with you today. 
and we'll catch you on the next webinar. Bye-bye.